let's talk about some great books for preschool and kindergarten. One of the main things that I like to focus on are vocabulary words. This book you choose is great for that. It gives the kids a chance to pick out things that they like and also things that they are really wanting to learn more about. So we have, where would you go? What kind of friends would you have? So you're just getting to um, talk about all this different um, vocabulary and asking lots of fun questions. I love the first picture um, ABC set. It comes with numbers as well, but this one has the letters and then they have um, different things that start with that letter, which is great for reading. Letter sounds are so important. The alphabet picture book. It's very heavy duty. It's gonna last you a long time. So if you have multiple kids, it's a great one to get. It has these tabs that are, make it easy for the pages to turn. And there is a picture that starts with that letter on every single page. Next, we have the Lift the Flap ABC. I love this one because it gives kids the practice that they need to learn to memorize those letter sounds. So you have um, guessing what comes next in the alphabet, saying the uh, word that starts with that letter, lots of um, correspondence to the vocabulary and what the word starts with. I love when you can get books that are appropriate for all different ages. And so the Alphabet of Peculiar Creatures is one of those. For the younger kids, you can use it to teach the letter sounds. And then for older kids, they're going to learn tons about different animals they have never heard of. L is for Lowland. I don't know what that is, but you'll have to get the book and read all about it. One of our easiest phonics readers after your kids learn their letter sounds is Ted and Friends. Ted and Friends has tons of really fun rhyming stories and they have lift the flap features as well as a duck that you can find, a little duck that you can find on every single page. This is a great book to teach your kids how to spell their name but also incorporate them into a really fun story. So Janine swings the arm so that the shiny bucket scoops up the earth. Also love the phonics um, wipe clean activity book. It has kids practicing writing their letters. They're getting those fine motor skills. So it has them practicing their letter sounds and matching those sounds to the words that start with them. Another great vocabulary book is What If I Know My Shapes. There's What If I Know My Opposites as well. It has all of the words of the different shapes in the front. And then it says, what if we have one square and one triangle? We can make a house. How cool is that? Let's talk about number books. Count to 100 is one of my favorites. It talks about animals as well. There's so many different things to count in this book. It is great for one-to-one -one correspondence. Another great book for numbers is Dotty and Dash's one, two, three. This is actually a pop-up book with numbers. I love this little number line on the bottom and it has all the numbers up to 100. Puzzles are great for critical thinking and math skills. My first unicorn activity pad is perfect. It has picture puzzles, letter matching, lots of fun, different activities to do. First chess book is a great one if you wanna teach your kids chess. So many people think that um, chess is too advanced for young children, but my first chess book will teach them how to play and just some of the basics that kids need to learn how to play the game and help increase their focus and critical thinking skills. I love to use themes or units, unit studies, to teach young children. The 101 things to spot in the sea, there's lots of different ones of these, but we're gonna focus on a sea theme. So this one has tons of vocabulary. It has counting. So it does two things at one time. And it's a great way to introduce your children to different um, sea habitats. Playing off the sea theme, this is crab is so much fun. This is an interactive storybook about crabs. So it says, off we go. Oh no, there seems to be a rock in the way. Will you push it to the side with your fingers? Ah, uh, that's not a rock. Who could it be? Try counting its arms. Is that a clue? So you have a little story, but it's also teaching kids vocabulary. Steve, terror of the seas. This one's so much fun. Steve is a little fish and everyone's scared of him and he doesn't understand why. 
This is a great book that teaches nonfiction concepts, but in a really, a, a really fun storybook style. The Big Book of Sea Creatures. The Big Book series is amazing. Definitely check out the other ones in this series. They have huge fold out pages and they are thick board book style. So they're going to last a long, long time. This one again covers tons of vocabulary and teaches your kids really bite-sized facts that they're gonna be able to remember and they're going to love. Choose your own journey. You can read it four different times. It has different paths for each journey. And what's great about this book is you get to really develop a conversation with your kids about which one they like and um, what they would do if they had a boat or if they had a submarine or if they were a diver. It really helps children learn when they vocalize what they feel and what they think it is huge in learning when you're young. One last final book is I Can Draw Animals. I love this one because it gives kids really great results. They build that confidence up in using their pens and using their pencils and using their crayons. So it really helps them develop those fine motor skills that they need to write. This one's a perfect one to encourage them in that.